Okay, so Maribor Jiu Jitsu Stories Part 2, Jeff Glover. What so, do you got for us, Jeff? Jiu Jitsu story, huh? Uh, I got in a street fight one time where a friend of mine jumped out of a car and a uh, moving car, my moving car, while we were driving and uh, he's tumbling down the fucking street. We were going 25 miles an hour and he just opened the door and stepped out. He was hammered drunk. And we parked the car come around the corner to see why he jumped out of his car and he squared off with five essays. Ouch. Do you know what essays are? Yeah. Like Mexicans? Like, yeah. Like, orale, orale, bato. Like, five <laughs> of them. Big, big Mexican dude standing in front of him. Like, what is he? What? He was like, I'll fuck all of you. Uh, the Cooper. The Cooper. I'll fuck nice. everybody. I'm going to pull the same body. He's drunk. So he's going mm. off talking shit. And then um, he gets in a, he gets one on one with one of the guys, puts the guy in a guillotine and jumps guard. <laughs> he pulls the guy on top of him and he's got the guard and he's choking the guy and I can't see what's going on all I think is the guy is unconscious and fucking dead I'm like Bill <laughs> you're killing the guy let go and Bill's like nah fuck that I'm like Bill let him go he's fucking asleep already you're gonna kill him you know what I'm saying like you can't hold a choke on somebody that long he's gonna fucking die so um so he won't listen to me so I literally start punching Bill in his face I'm like let go dog let the guy go let the guy go he's just like Ugh. Glover, leave me alone. Stop, let me go. Stop it. Stop it. And I'm punching him. Bill, stop. So finally he lets go. He goes, fine, he lets go. And the guy gets up like nothing was wrong with him. Comes up and goes, boom. Oh. It socks Bill in his face and Bill's head bounces. And you just see the mouth swell up instantly. I was like, fucking Glover, I told you. And I was like, oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were going to kill him. I was thinking, jail? Jail? You're going to jail for life? I don't know. I'm sorry. Fuck your black guy. You know what I'm saying? And then, uh, I get squared up with the tallest dude in the, the clique, of course, wants to fight me. Uh -huh. And he was like, you just see he was very out of shape. He was tall. He, he seemed very awkward, you know? And uh, he squares up with me, whatever. I double leg, take him down, hammer fist him in the face, like Brock Lesnar did, did Randy Couture. Yeah. Like, uh, you're jacking off the chipmunk. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, and then, uh, yeah, he sat up like The Undertaker. You know, the, you ever see The Undertaker? Yeah, he yeah. Like, and he sat up like this. Uh -oh. <laughs> so I spun around behind him without hooks, and I put him in a rear naked choke, and I choked him unconscious. And then his homeboy came over, and he was like, what'd you do to my friend, Hey, eh? What the fuck, eh? You fucking killed him, eh? And he's like compulsing, and he's pulling me up the mountain. So I take off, because I was like, dude, they're gonna gather, they're gonna regroup, Yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I, I run, I, I jump over some fence, it was a Salvation Army, and I'm hiding behind this fence, and I throw up because I was drinking too, <laughs> and I just had this fight with this guy, so I puked, just, uh, and, and, and I'm watching, I'm waiting for the, the, the coast to be clear, right? And he's still down there on the floor, like coming to and shit, and he, he wakes up, looks around, and he starts running at these two white kids walking past him. And he, the, the white kid doesn't even see it. He takes a full on, blue. the Mexican dude that I choked out, punched some white boy and knocks him out cold. Kid had no idea what was going on. Wow. I think the reason he did that is he wakes up from his fucking slumber. He tells his homie like, yo, what happened? And his homie goes, yo, some little white boy fucked you up. <laughs> and he goes, white boy, white boy. And the first thing he sees is a white boy over there. He goes, oh, that's the white boy. And he ran over <laughs> oh, and saw oh, no. this fucking dude, right? So, and I'm seeing the whole thing through, through, through a hole in a, in a fence. I'm sitting behind a fence. <laughs> <laughs> Watching the show. <laughs> Just as this happened, a cop comes around the corner and saw the whole thing. So the cop gets out and arrests the dude. So the dude had a bad night. The dude, one, got his ass beat by a little white guy. He got, he got hammer fisted in the face like 15 times. He got choked unconscious. And then he's going to jail for a fucking assault. Bad night. Yeah, it was bad night. And then I walked home and I laughed my balls off for like three days. <laughs> Bill, Bill, Bill had a little black eye. Yeah. But yeah, he, him and he, after he got stuck, him and my friend Harold, you met my friend H Dog, they, they yeah. got in my car and took off. And the reason they took off is I was trying to get to the car, but the, the like 10 SA dudes were punching and kicking my car trying to break the windows. They were trying to break the windows. So H Dog took off. I was like, fuck this. And they left me behind. So him and Bill went home and left me behind for some reason to fight this giant Mexican dude. Wow. Yeah, it's a pretty fun story. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. Mighty Bird Jiu Jitsu Stories, part two, the one and only Jeff Glover. Yeah. Yeah. yeah.